I'm home. me to feed you to a pterodactyl. Ah! Oh, look at the good boy eating his supper. Was he any trouble, Mom? No, dear. He was a perfect angel. More, please. I met the nicest male in the invertebrate aisle. He helped me chisel off some frozen squid. Oh, hello, you little sweet thing. Grandma giving you a good dinner? Uh, <coughs> Whoa, the mama out of nowhere asking all kinds of questions. Huh. And gone. Mama here, mama gone. Where's the mama? Gotta have the mama, the okay. mama. <laughs> there. <laughs> and I ran into the same male in the parking lot. He helped carry my cart. I don't know why. I mean, it had wheels. But still, it was very considerate. Why shouldn't a male be interested? You still got to figure. Oh, stop. I'm a mother of three. Hello, family. And Ethel. Look at your father. Say hello to the big loser. Loser! Am not. <laughs> How was your day, Earl? Uneventful, which is always good. Anything new here on the home front? Fran made a new friend in the squid aisle. Uh-huh. He helped me with my cart. Oh, that's nice. To the male of the house. Oh, I believe that's me. <laughs> Loser! It's refreshing to meet a genuinely nice dinosaur once in a while. Oh, boy. What is it, Earl? Oh, uh, it's nothing. <laughs> it's funny, but nothing. I'm chuckling at its complete lack of anything. <laughs> Earl, do you want some mint jelly with your squid cakes? Mm, whatever, my sweet. By the way, uh, this, this, this fellow you met over at the market, he was a short, delicate, little wisp of a thing, perhaps? No, he was quite tall. But, uh, hunched over, uh, and feeble? No. He must have been at least 50 feet high. <clears throat> it was hard to tell. There were clouds in front of his face. Gary! 